Hi there, my name's T, and I'm gonna tell you how hard it is to hide a grave illness under a normal facade. My condition didn't allow me to use bathroom for two years, and it makes me fight with myself every day. I can't say how old I was when I first succumbed to the illness, but the exhausting oh. nausea started back in June 2012. Can you guys imagine throwing up 20 to 30 times a day? Between the bouts of nausea, I felt sick and dizzy. It was unbearable, but it became even worse when I got hit in the stomach with a rugby ball during an amateur game. I was hospitalized, and that's how my life turned into purgatory. Examination revealed a diagnosis. Korn's disease. It's a severe and rare disorder which mostly affects your gastrointestinal tract, including all of its sections and tissues. The multiple fistula and necrotic patches cause me unimaginable suffering. According to statistics, 50 to 150 people in every thousand are sick with this disease. And I was unlucky enough to be one of them. I pretty much moved to the hospital now. One surgery came after another. They cut me up 80 times within two years. Every surgery made my intestines a few inches shorter. At the end of it, my colon is 35 inches instead of 5 feet. And my small intestine is 8 feet long when it should be 20. My belly was slashed every which way. The huge stitch going from my sternum all the way down to my pubic bone became my lifeline more than once. It was physically taxing but wasn't good for my mental health either. Confined to my hospital bed, I lost the ability to socialize. It was frightening to realize that all my organs were on the verge of collapse. My stomach was basically useless because my geodenum was compressed. Since my stomach couldn't empty itself, the doctors would insert a Riley's tube through my nostrils so that the liquid in my stomach didn't stagnate. I have Hickman lines implanted all over my body. They're special intravenous catheters which deliver nutrients and, more importantly, medicine to my internal organs while my stomach is incapable of absorbing and redistributing it. The end of the line rests in my heart. My liver and kidneys are also dysfunctional because, you see, there's not enough liquid in my body. All of my internals are covered with ulcers, fistulae, and lesions. You can probably imagine how much it hurts. My entire body is an open wound that can't even be attended without cutting up my skin and muscle. Add a bunch of car morbid symptoms and syndromes to the list. My bones are brittle because of a condition called osteoarthritis. I also have gastroparesis and multiple other issues. Sometimes my chronic pain blurs my vision and dims my mind. But I've learned to treasure every day of my life so I pull through and through and through. I wish I could spend more time at home. I've only been there for 4 weeks in the last 18 months. Being separated from my friends and family is mentally devastating. Of course they try to support me, but their faces don't look very encouraging when they see me all cut up and covered in tubes. So, I prefer to be the only one who sees me like this. You can imagine how challenging it gets. As a young man, walking around with a stomach bag is unpleasant, to say the least. But my disease doesn't care about my preferences. I was incapable of eating a normal meal for two years. My condition took away my ability to enjoy the taste of all the food I've loved since I was a kid. I couldn't use the bathroom like ordinary person for two years. I suppose this is the life fate has in store for me. But whatever life I have is my own, so I'm not going to complain and weep in despair. You know, it really feels insulting when I'm standing in line for disabled bathroom and I notice someone snickering like, look at his audacity. But it's not like I can explain to every stranger how hard it was to get out of bed this morning and dress myself to look like a regular, able-bodied person. None of them have any idea what my body looks like under my shirt, where tubes and tubeless keep me alive. I actually want to be normal, just blend in like everybody. But you know, it cost me tremendous effort. Pain surges through my body with every waking moment, but I never show it. I merely hide the suffering that is intrinsic to my every step. Here's what I'd like to tell every friend and stranger. Please don't pity me, or fret about accommodating me. It's not what I want, okay? It's just not. Nor do I want worldwide fame. I'm just a regular person. Don't insult or humiliate me. Before you say anything, take a moment to think how much pain your words can bring me. And I'm in enough pain already. 
don't be hasty in sticking labels, because most important things about people are often hidden. Do you guys want more episodes? Then press the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell. Want to see your own story? Then send them over to this email here.